Well, I'm back at it again, just doing what I do, driving through Oklahoma, and I'm just looking for a creek to fish. Taking it in some sights and some scenery, gotta find just the right spot to stop and fish, so let's keep looking. This place looks interesting, let's try here. Ooh, I bet there's fish in that creek. Well, here I am in Oklahoma and fishing at the Arms Family Homestead Ranch. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some creek fishing. And of course the star of the show, Houston over here. Everybody knows Houston. And I know, I know a lot of y'all watching, I um, know that I watch their channel. And a lot of y'all already watch their channel. And if you don't know who Houston is, this guy is a creek fishing like master. Uh, Houston, he's already been like almost attacked by two snakes ants and dogs i don't know what else is going to happen so uh tell us what you think you're going to catch today um bluegill, um, bluegill. no the sand bass moved out no i think i think the sand bass were back in the lake back in the lake maybe a car all right yeah. this this is his creek and he's a professional here so we're gonna see if he uh what all he can catch so hopefully you don't let the people down they're they're expecting stuff He's trying. All right, let's get back to fishing. Oh, wow. That was a good one. Ooh, the water's looking good, and the snakes are out. Hopefully the fish are active. Hey, here we go. See what I got. Great sunfish. First cast. Second cast. Oh, second. <laughs> I got a bite on the first cast. <laughs> Y'all got lots of green sunfish out here. I'm not. Oh, it's, it's crazy. I'm not used to that this many. In Arkansas, the same way. It was like green sunfish, green sunfish. Ooh, it's a pretty one. I love how pretty these things are. There we go. They're still in there. That's a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. There's a lot of those like that in this creek. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. That's largemouth. Yeah. There we go. Oh, another one. The same size as yours. Oh, that's a spot there. Oh, whoa. You got me. There we go. <laughs> That's a chunky one. Hey, I saw one too, by the way. This back on that thing is like got a weird hump on it. it. Sure does. Looks like something got a hold of his side. Yeah, look at look at the uh, something tried to eat him. Like a gar or something almost. On both sides of it. That's pretty crazy. Well, this is the fun of creek fishing. You don't know what you're gonna get. And I'll take a spotted bass like that all day. Let's put it back in up here on the upside so it'll stay up in the creek. There you go. You like that one? There it goes. I right, going back down the deep channel. There we go, whoa! I <laughs> hammered it. Another nice spot of bass. Another largemouth? A spot. A spot. I was just jigging along this uh, edge right here. There's a bunch of little fish down there. Yep. He must have came out from the rock and just hammered it. So that ledge right underneath just kind of cuts back under. Oh yeah. Undercut. I think there was another one following it. Put him up there on this side. Hey, I'll eat it. <laughs> oh, he's just sitting right there. <laughs> There's snakes all over the place. 
<laughs> He's just standing right beside it. There's another one. Hey, these things are colorful here. Look at the blue and green, everything on. Oh, no, dog, it bit my lure. Uh-oh, Earl, let go, let go. I was like, <laughs> everything bites it. Still a yeah, yeah. I just felt like tension, I was like, what's going on? Good thing I didn't jerk it. All right, the dog survived. I thought it was gonna be bad. Nice. There's something. Ski it on in. Just a grainy. Gotta find a few more bass in here. After catching those spots, I wanna see what else is in here. I'd love to get a smallmouth out of here too. Get it out, I go. Yes, I think it's... Oh, that's a pretty one. No, you're not. That's a red ear. That's a nice because one. Because we're not keeping them right now. You're not putting Stop. them on. Earl, no. Uh-uh. Earl, <laughs> no. You're going to have to learn. No. This is my favorite style of creeks. Like, it's just the right size. You can walk it. But you can wade it. Deep and rolling. Yeah, and it's got the deep hole. You know the fish are going to be in there. It's yeah. like they don't, they're going to stay in there and live They're, uh, and you just don't know what can come out of these places that's what's fun yeah. it's like oh look at that bass following mine yep that's a decent little bass cast up there in front of bella oh look at him no he killed there oh, right that's small for sure. yeah that was a decent little bass he just was too late that's the thing is you green so much are so greedy they run and get your bait before the bass would get it you want that? You want that? <laughs> is there one following it? There's some, yeah, a little smallmouth. Oh, it is. Or oh, that's a mama. Or I don't know. Maybe a hybrid. Yeah, that one almost looks like a mean mouth. Can we come Guess that's a little fish though. Hang on, let me get off the hook. That's Look a. Look there. That's a. Me and my underarm GoPro mount here. You like that? <laughs> that's how you do it when you know your profession, right? <laughs> Where the water flows across is probably only about 10 or 12 feet wide, and it makes a really nice waterfall. Boom. Yep, that's gonna get them. And that's what I want. I want to catch a little longer. So I just switched to a uh, Rebel Teeny R because there's a lot of sunfish, and they're really aggressive. But also there's some bass. So I got the little, the little tiny Teeny R, and that's a little longer. And they got smaller mouths, but they're so aggressive they bite at everything. So we'll probably start catching a few more of those. We've already caught a ton of fish. Probably won't even be able to put them all in there. But that's, I love these little fish, they're cool. Oh yeah, here we go. Got a little bass. Chunky little bass. Yeah, he's spotted bass. That little guys. You got a fan club. I know they're waiting. <laughs> oh, I gotta get this tiny hook out. Dad, there we go. This is Don't get hooked by that. Uh, yeah, I think it's a little spot of ass. Going for it. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were gonna get like soaked or something. Kind of yeah, pretty much. You're right. Oh, that's our first true smallmouth. Looks like. Bella, get back. Oh, that's cool. It's a pretty fish right there. Those dudes are so strong. <laughs> Spot totally different than a spotted bass or a black bass, but that's a good size one for up here too. Oh, 
Oh, well, we're young. Yep, I got a sunfish. Oh, a nice one. Oh, look how colorful that one is. Sure is. Can I keep that one? Oh, we're not. It almost has like a bluish tint. Yeah, he's got some like. Man. It's pretty blue on his uh, fins and stuff. Yeah. And it looks it's like she was like shining in the water when he's coming up. It's a blue eared. It's a big one for a long ear. Nope. I'm gonna make one more change. We're going upsize the, the bigger crawl. I've had several little bass hit and come off. And there's some decent ones in here, so I think I'll get something. Especially in this little long depot, there's gotta be something to hit this. There he is. There's that. Oh, nice. They're a little bit further up. Oh, nice. This is a perfect creek bass size. Puts up a good fight. Yeah, sometimes you, people go to these little creeks and they only throw small lures. Yeah. Sometimes a little bit bigger bass, not that that's a giant, but sometimes a little bit bigger ones want something a little more to eat. Come on, get over here. There you go. <laughs> He's like a... <laughs> Kick your back feet. Come on, dog. Come on, Earl. You gotta learn to swim better than that, son. Come on, Earl. Come on. That rock slip. He's like a kid the first time trying to swim. He's just, just going at it. This is his first, first year of two times. Uh, uh. Well, this big deep hole, we thought we'd have some fish, but didn't didn't have much in it, but this is probably gonna be our turning back spot. And I'm um, just hitting all these deep holes on it. It's fun to explore these little deep holes, just see what's in there, see what you can find. All right, and we are back from the creek. Great time, I love getting out there and waiting, and that's like my favorite thing to do. And uh, I, I found Daniel's channel a long time ago, back when he was first starting, and I was just starting too. I stumbled on your channel when you had like seven or 800 yeah, subscribers. I, I think you had like two or 3,000. And you know, and it was just, it, I just liked watching his stuff. And no, I don't watch all the greenhouse stuff, <laughs> but he, do, he does outdoor things and stuff like that. And um, I, I hope that maybe one day we could hook up and get together. And four years later, or whatever it is, here we are fishing together. So thanks so much for watching this video. And yeah, go check out his channel if you haven't. You probably already know who these guys are, <laughs> but uh, great people. And I appreciate them letting me come out and fish with them. And um, yeah. Not many people get to come fish our creek. Yeah. <laughs> I feel <laughs> privileged. <laughs> and um, they got a bunch of cool merchandise and stuff like that too. I like what they're doing. And um, just we caught a ton of fish. I probably didn't even show them all. A bunch of different species. And we're not trophy fishing, just relaxing, fun oh, yeah. fishing. And that's that's what I like to do. Yeah, just having a great time. It's yeah. just, like, I told, like I told everybody, it's just, that's just what I grew up doing, and I love getting kids out there and taking them oh. and just wading the creek. And Houston got to see some snakes, and yeah. <laughs> you know, almost stepped close. on one. And yeah. It's just, it's just fun. It's just, I don't know, it's relaxing. Yeah, definitely. So, thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching, and go check them out.